Welcome to this last module of this course on multimodal language models. This has been a really fun module to put together. There are so many possibilities for multimodal applications that can process more than just text, including images and audio. In fact, this module itself can very well be its own course, but I will use this opportunity to highlight what I think are some of the most interesting models and trends in this field. I hope you enjoy this module. By the end of this module, we will have surveyed the broad landscape of multimodal language models. You will understand how transformer architectures can be this general and flexible to accept non-text inputs as well. We will also discuss the limitations of multimodal language models and possible alternative architectures to transformers and the attention mechanism. Lastly, we'll wrap up this module by discussing the wide possibilities of multimodal applications. Some of the most commonly cited examples of multimodal language models come from OpenAI. The first that you might have heard about is Whisper. It can transcribe speech audio into text. The second is DALI. DALI can create images from text. And for Clip, when it's given text and image descriptions, it can predict the most relevant text description for that image. Multimodal models are very useful. And in fact, they are much more user-friendly and much more flexible. And they pretty much mirror how humans can perceive information. For instance, you can see this Video Llama application where we can ask Video Llama to describe what it has heard in the video itself and then ask questions uh, to follow up on the video. You can also use Mini GBT4 to explain memes that you might not understand or even ask MiniGPT4 to come up with some mock-up uh, code for you to build this joke website and insert jokes uh, within the website as well. Just like large language models, multimodal language models can also exhibit chain of thought reasoning capability. We can supply multimodal information as in context. For example, on the left image over here, we can supply a video, a series of video frames and ask that multimodal language model to explain to us what happened between the frames. And the second image that you see on the right, we can provide photos as our in context, for example, the crackers and soda, and ask the multimodal application to tell us, you know, which property does these two have in common. Quite impressively, multimodal language models can also process these multimodalities simultaneously. So we can pass in an image, we can also pass in a recording at the same time, and then ask question to the language model. Multimodal language models can also act as an agent that calls upon other tools or models to finish tasks. But a lot of these multimodal models use transformer architectures. But how? We have seen so far that transformer architectures mainly process text. So you'll find all about that in the next video.